Welcome back to another unboxing video. Um, today we have the Victory Models kit of HM Bomb Vessel Granado. Um, this was the second kit designed by Chris Watton in the Victory Models range. Um, Victory Models, as you can see here, collaboration between Amati and Euromodels. Um, this is probably aimed at not a beginner. Um, this, this actually is an ideal intermediate kit, really. Um, this will get you well on the way to, to a much larger model sometime in the future. Um, as you can see, because it's a bomb vessel, there's not a huge amount of, of masting and rigging. There's enough to do, but not a huge amount. Um, and some people, some models would find that attractive. Some people struggle with, with rigging. So without getting too bogged down, let me just quickly show you around the box. So you get a bit of more of an idea of what you get for your money. And here we go. That's that end. I'll try and do a complete 360 of the box for you. This is of course you will be doing a shop. Have a good look at it. Hopefully that's helpful. Okay, first thing you find set of plans and instructions. Um, beautifully drawn, all drawn by Chris, obviously. Um, really, really important that your, your plans and instructions are of high quality. Um, first language, obviously English. Chris is English, so therefore they're written in English and not translated from Italian into English. Some modelers find that um, a bit of a bore. So uh, you don't need to worry about that with the Victory Models kits. Hopefully you're getting a good view of the, some idea of the quality there. Okay, we'll move on to some of the components inside. Um, these are two of the fitting trays here. You can see that they're full of, I'll take the lid off for you just to show you a little bit more inside. There we go, without the reflection. So, okay, this is a um, fitting tray here. Um, you can see that it, we have most of the components in here of the general building. Um, building up the rigging and what have you. You've got all the dead eyes and blocks that you acquire in there. Grating here also. Um, some rigging cord, also white metal castings, cannons. Um, yeah, there's a lot, lot involved in that particular box of parts. So we'll just go on to the next one now. Parts or fittings, whichever you prefer. And here we have um, more of the cast metal parts, the, the, the main mortars themselves, it's a bomb vessel at the end of the day. Um, and you've got some white metal castings, decorative castings there. Um, let's take the lid off and get rid of the glare a little bit for you. Um, rigging down on this side, we've got um, anchors in here and then various wire and copper wire and various other parts in there, pins and eyelets. Gives you an idea of what's involved in that particular tray. Right, now we come to the main component parts, which are laser cut in a variety of materials. Um, we have, I'm just going to slide these out for you so you can get a better view. Photo etched brass parts as well included. Just slide them out here. There we are. Um, photo etched brass parts in here. Um, we've got dead eye straps, um, all the various parts, detail parts that you require for for the rigging, and also various other parts, assembly parts on the model, window frames, and what have you. You can see it all beautifully done. I'll try to get my fingers out of the way so you can get a good view of that. Um, laser cut parts in birch ply and also walnut ply. And you can see all beautifully and accurately cut. A lot to be said about laser cutting um, compared to CNC routing. It's a cleaner process, it's a more accurate process, and you don't get left with a load of swarf and nastiness in your kit. It comes with a cradle as well, as you can see here, for holding the model after it's been assembled. And again, more detailed parts here. More again. This is actually in solid walnut and then walnut ply for these parts. And then that's for your for your deck feature and your these are the um, the laser cut um, 
bulwarks around. So these are the parts that are you know, quite difficult to do if you're planking on, on some of the older design kits. That's a nice feature of the Victory Models kits. That's all done for you. So you, you, your first layer of planking will come up to that and then you put your second layer of planking over the top. So all that hard work is taken away from it for you. And then you've got the main laser cut frames and bulkheads here, which make up the, the main frame of the model. Back to one side. Okay, and here we have two spools of rigging cord. We also have various planking strips. Um, it's a double planked hull. There's some decorative parts in here. Um, I'm just gonna get out the various woods. There's a collection here of walnut, lime and beech. There's beach Nika strips there for your planking. That's your second planking in walnut. First planking in lime wood. And then you have a variety of different dowels for all your masts and spars here. Okay. And then your black cord and your natural cord in the box as well. Basically everything's included in the kit. Um, obviously all you need to do is purchase things like glues and any stains or paints that you might require. Um, but that's clearly marked on the instructions what you need to go and buy um, additionally to, to finish this particular model. Now I hope this gives you a good overview of what's included in the Granado. Um, it, it's um, so the second kit in the Victory Models range, the first being the Lady Nelson. Um, but we will get to cover all of the kits in the Victory Models range so you'll get a, a good idea of what's included in each and every model as we go along. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions please contact us. You can find all our contact details online at www.euromodels.co.uk Alternatively you can call us on 01452 790 800 in the UK and if you're calling from any other part of the world just use a standard dialing code from your country for the United Kingdom. Hope I've been of some help to you. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.